Hello, welcome back to Logo Programming. In the last video, we have seen how to create a procedure. And in this video, let us see some more details about procedure. Some more procedures we can create and see. So, let us refer the manual. So, in the last video, we have seen we have to use edit command and we have to give the name of the procedure each and every name every procedure will be having some name of its own we can use that name later for calling the procedure and in the procedure body the procedure body will start with a two and it will it will end with a keyword end so we can give the values inside the procedure in between the two and the end here we have some more proces procedures given uh, one procedure is triangle here one more square procedure is there to create a square and another procedure to create a pentagon and a procedure to create a triangle ok all those procedures are there uh, we shall try one procedure now so we have to give edits and the name of the pr procedure we will use some procedure for triangle this is the command which we have to use to create a triangle let us try, try this out first of all before creating the procedure you can directly give repeat 3 FD and we have to give the length of the triangle here length of the triangle 100 and RT 120 so now we got a triangle if you give this value we will get a triangle ok let me clear this sorry see as now the screen it is cleared so edit triangle ok it's wrong after edit we have to give triangle in single quotation double quotation there won't be any opening sorry there won't be any closing quotation for the in this triangle uh, body we can give the command to execute the triangle so let me give the distance uh, length of the triangle let it be 100 I can save it now save and exit and to run it I have to use the name triangle here ok just by pressing triangle now we are getting the triangle so the triangle is of a fixed size the length of the triangle is fixed let us edit the triangle once again and in this example you can see two triangle and length is given here colon length and repeat FD instead of giving the value it is given the length so in this case we can specify the length of the triangle at the time of using the triangle procedure so we will try it out so the syntax is triangle two triangle then we have to give the length and repeat three within bracket square bracket FD length that means the length will be dynamically taken you can specify the length RT120 RT120 forms three lines at different 120 degree angle so that each of the each of the ends of the lines will be joined and it will form a triangle Okay, let me save and exit now let us try a triangle it won't work not enough inputs to triangle that means triangle is expecting some value from us if I give 100 then the value 100 will be taken and it will plot a triangle there again I am trying, trying the triangle with another value 50 now I got a small triangle inside
now there is a very small triangle inside so in this case we can make triangles of different size different uh, the side length can be different that the length of each side can be given here while using the triangle such a procedure is called parameterized procedure the value given giving along with the name of the procedure is called parameter we can specify the size this method is more convenient than that of the previous one so let us see some more uh, functions some more procedures here in the same way we can create a function sorry procedure to find the procedure to make a square at some length so we have to start it edit square okay i forgot to put the colon quotation here double quotation here so the window opens and in the in this i can give the code to square to square is the square is the name of the procedure and to and end it shows this is the beginning and end of the procedure and the length is going to be replaced here so that the square will be of this length rt90 is fixed so that we need to have a square so let me clear the screen then i can use the procedure square with some value i am going to give 100 yeah i got a square with 100 size let me use another square with 50 size so we can dynamically create the squares of different sizes we have one more example that is pendagon edit quotation Two pentagon length repeat five for a pentagon the sides are fifty sorry sides are five so it is being repeated five times the length we are getting at the time of we are giving at the time of running the pentagon and every time it is going to be rotated seventy two times seventy two degree angle and I am going to save and exit the program let me clear it so now to edit now to run pentagon with a size 100 so now we got the pentagon with size 100 if you want a small pentagon of size 5 yeah it is there and another pentagon of size 50 one more pentagon with a size 150 okay we can create the shapes using the procedures there are different procedures used here in this program we have a procedure to make a square square 100 so it made a square then triangle 120 is going to create a triangle and we have already have some pentagons in the screen so whichever shapes you want all those shapes are created with the help of some procedures and we can reuse this procedure again and again there is another procedure called polygon so pentagon is having five sides and in the case of polygon there can be many sides so edit polygon ok again I forgot to put the quotation here
here we have to give the size of the polygon and how many sides are there a polygon with 100 sides and with 7 sides yeah it got created another pentagon with the same size with 9 sides it got created so this way we can create many procedures and we can use those procedures these procedures are at present these procedures are there in the memory RAM of the computer and if you want to save it for the further use we can save it file save us file dot lgo that is the extension of the file we can save we can save the file with some file name so shapes you can give some name and it can be saved these shapes can be reloaded with the help of file load and select shapes so we can use these shapes these procedures again in the logo program when we load the logo for the next time this way the procedures are very useful for making some graphical programs with the help of logo thank you for watching the video you can try these procedures you please create these procedures in the logo and you can use it by using its parameters and without parameters so create many procedures for creating different shapes and save it in a file and reload it again and you can use it whenever you need to create those shapes in your logo screen thank you for watching the video bye